Did you think you'd be in this position now where you're back in WWE? I did. You know, I had a lot of uh, faith that when I, when I was released that I would end up back in WWE. I didn't think it would be so soon. So when I got released, I remember Drew McIntyre messaging me and talking about his experience. And he said it took almost seven years before he got re-signed. Mm. Like he did a lot, obviously, in the UK scene and stuff like that. So I was planning maybe three or four years, maybe I could get a good run in Japan for a couple of years and then, and then be back in, in WWE. But then it ended up being 16 or 17 months I was gone. Uh, obviously, things changed. Uh, Hunter was sort of back in charge again, and I was always a Hunter guy in NXT, and he reached out to me and ended up back. So was the goal after you got released, like, I'm going to do whatever I can to find my way back to WWE? Basically, yeah, yeah. Like, I've always had a big passion for Japanese-style wrestling. When I started wrestling, I trained in the Inoki style of wrestling. The, the guy that trained me actually trained under Inoki. So I always had a big passion for that. And I thought, well, if I can't do WWE, that's where I'll go. Um, and then it, I ended up fitting really well. And then I had a decision to make whether to stay in Japan and continue to pursue that or to come back to WWE. And I think for me, I've been a lifelong fan of WWE and I didn't get to do things like be on a Monday Night Raw or be on SmackDown or the PLEs or pay-per-views, what they used to call them. Um, so that sort of was the, the like uh, drawing force to bring me back. Is I still had a lot of moments I think I needed to get 